Och vi är live. Hello and welcome to this webinar about how to create optimal lighting with Active Ahead. My name is Pia Fors, I'm from Aura Light, and with me today I have Thomas Eliasson from Helvar and Rasmus Andersson from Aura Light. Um, I will actually not talk that much today, uh, Rasmus and Thomas will. And I will present to you how uh, Active Ahead works and what it is what it is exactly. And they will do so for about 25 minutes. So in the last for a few minutes, we will have time for questions. So if you have any questions about uh, Active Ahead, you, you can ask them in the chat function. It should be a button in the upper right corner. So just ask them there and I'll collect them and we can answer them uh, in the very end of this webinar. Uh, I really hope you're going to find this uh, webinar interesting. And well, I don't really have that much more to say. So actually I'm going to put on a movie for you, a short introduction film about uh, Active Ahead. And after that, I'll hand over the floor to Rasmus and Thomas. So once again, welcome. And let's just put on this video. There we go. Helvar Active Ahead is a truly intelligent and scalable wireless lighting solution. It's the perfect solution for offices, warehouses, stairways and parking garages. Active Ahead brings great benefits to renovation projects where wiring can be challenging and costly to install. A short downtime means the space can be back to use with smart lighting in no time at all. Luminaires fitted with Active Ahead are quick and easy to install. Simply install the luminaires to their intended positions. There's no control wiring needed. Wirelessly networked Active Ahead luminaires use a self-learning algorithm to learn how a space is used and adapt to the changes, offering the right lighting at the right time and place. 
Thanks to the sensor network and the continuous self-learning, Active Ahead is proven to offer energy savings and lower a building's operational costs. Active Ahead automatically adapts to the changes over a building's lifetime. New functionality such as wall panels can be added at any time, making it a flexible, future-proof solution. Any configuration on top of the self-learning is done easily using the mobile app. With the ActiveTune app, users can tailor workspace lighting to suit their needs. With a wireless control panel, different lighting scenes can be created, for instance, in meeting rooms. For added comfort, lighting can be kept on outside the meeting room using the corridor hold function. In stairways and parking garages, using Active Ahead can result in energy savings of up to 85%. With our lighting expertise, we can select the most suitable solution for any space. Our lighting control systems can be connected to help our cloud services, providing data insights to increase the building's efficiency throughout its entire lifetime. Helvar Active Ahead, truly intelligent wireless lighting. Hello and welcome to the webinar. My name is Rasmus Andersson and I am from Aurolight. And I'm Thomas Eliasson from Helvar. And we are going to show you the presentation here, just going to fix the technical part. Yes. Yeah. So, what is this webinar about? It's how to create optimal lighting with Active Ahead. Yes. <clears throat> and as you saw in the movie, uh, Active Ahead is a Bluetooth mesh system. And uh, to explain a little bit how it works is that uh, when I jump in my car with my telephone, it's connected with Bluetooth. But uh, if I would have a mesh network, it will connect to the cars around me so we can send information in between us. So instead of having uh, wiring to send uh, the information, you have the Bluetooth mesh network. So you only need the three wires that are standard in the buildings. Yeah, and one of the luminaires that we have Active Ahead system in is our LED panel Lunaria. And you see we have sensor in every spot and that's what we are going to talk about during this presentation. Yep. So this is a 6060 panel with low UDR yep. for perfect for office. Optimal light. A li little bit how it works. <clears throat> it should be easy. <clears throat> and this is easy because uh, you use the existing wiring and just put in the plug and the lumens are there. You change them one to one. And uh, after that, uh, when the installer goes under the first one, you trigger the sensor and nothing more happens. But when you have passed the luminaire two or three times, they connect with the Bluetooth system and send the information ahead. That means that the light ignites in front of you when you walk, but uh, it's smart. So if you turn left after the second lumina, uh, the light uh, will move on to the left, but the light in front of you is only triggered by the Bluetooth. So that will go down and you save energy. It will only be on for 30 seconds approximately before it go down. And the system also works in very short times because you have so many sensors, as Rasmus talked about. Uh, that, that means that it works in 10 minutes uh, uh, periods, uh, five on the high level and five on the low level, but uh, that can also change because it's so smart so it recognizes what you do. So if you have it uh, over your desk, uh, you move often and uh, Lumina will uh, extend the time on high level for approximately seven minutes and down to three on the lower. Yeah. And for the coffee machine, it do the opposite. You win, take your coffee and go. So three minutes on the high and seven on the low. So it's a smart system. Yeah. Absolutely, and optimize the energy consumption. Absolutely. And it's also relearning. So if uh, you see on the picture on the top uh, right, you put a wall in your corridor. The first time it's going to light up on the other side because the Bluetooth mesh still talks to each other. But as Thomas said, it's the same like you go to the left. It will go down after 30 seconds. Mm. But after a couple of days when he have relearned, he talks, but you know, he this way nobody is going to pass anymore. So that's why it's learning every hour, every day, you yeah. can say, because you don't have to do anything, go in and do some programming. And it's so smart, so it doesn't even have to take a couple of days. It depends on how many triggers it does. So if you move in this area for six times that day, it yeah. will stop already there. Yeah. And uh, everybody don't want to have the, 
it as it is because you don't have to do anything. You just can put it up and let it work by itself. But you want to do function to do it smoother for the people and more optimal lighting for the people in the building. So we have a configuration app. And it is a configuration app. It's not a programming app because then I couldn't handle it. I'm too stupid for that. Uh, configuration <laughs> is my kind of thing. Uh, it's done with a finger on a telephone and you can put in whatever you want. Yeah, yeah like the time and the light. <laughs> Yeah, uh, levels, time, and the smart things like if you have done a grouping, you can group the Lumina for open space area. And when you group them, <clears throat> for example, you can say if one sensor ignites, I want the complete group to be on 20%. So you get this light around you, so you don't feel like you're sitting in a light spot in a dark ocean. So, and that configuration, when you've done the grouping, you only have to send out the information to one of the luminaires in the group, and then the mesh system sends this out. So it's very fast to do this configuration. Yeah. <clears throat> you can also use it for corridor hold function. Corridor hold means that if any rooms are ignited, any sensors are ignited, the corridor are not allowed to go down. So you always go out in a light area that gets brighter. And uh, so it stays at 20% as long as somebody's in the building. So that means that Rasmus can work long hours and still go out in light corridors when you go home. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And also you have a thing called Active Tune. Okay. And uh, in generation two, it's going to be the same app. Yeah. Right now it's two. Uh, yeah. But uh, the Active Tune, imagine if you sit in a big uh, office space, open areas. Uh, it's self-learning, as Thomas just explained, but you can personalize your lighting on in top of you if you sit at your desk. You have this barcode and you take this active tune and just scan the barcode and then you can dim it exactly how you want. But when it goes down, it's going back to the relearning thing. And it's very easy because if you uh buy active, lum active head luminous and then recognize that you need this function afterwards, you just install it with app. So you don't have to do anything, everything immediately. You can build it like a Lego. You can do it when yeah, you want to have by it step. to do your personal light. Yeah. And these are the application that we have done active head in, but I don't see the, we can do it everywhere. Yeah, this is the first step. Offices is one of the good things, especially open plan offices with small conference room and stuff around that. It's very easy to, to build with this system because it's no cabling. And one of our new luminaires in the office range is our quill. You can have it in three different sizes. You can have it as a pendant, ceiling or a wall mounted. And as you see on the picture with Active Head integrate into the luminaire. And if you have a special project that you need them in pink, like Thomas likes, yep. you can have that also on, prefer, a, prefer. on a special request. Uh, just to talk about a little bit how you can build this kind of solution. The first way is just to mount the luminous and walk. It will learn by itself. But uh, me for myself, I want to ha have some kind of function to make it more comfortable for me. This is the Helvar office in Helsinki, the right side of the top floor. And uh, we have done it, the pink areas is uh, where you have the corridors and the spaces for everybody, like uh, when you have a jacket, the way out to the elevator and stuff like that. We make this, uh, this as groups and the other one is conference room and the green part is uh, open space uh, area for office places. And uh, we have done it like this, we have done three groups of it. So uh, you identify with a configuration app all the luminous and uh, then you have self-learning on them. You don't want to have any more function. What we have done is that we put in, uh, uh, if one of the luminance or the sensor uh, get triggered, uh, one of the field, the one that you are in at the moment, will go up to 20%, so you get this light area around you. And then you set the daylight. The daylight, you have two options. Either you let it do it by, by yourself, or you choose one in the group. In this case, I would say the one in the left down corner, because you have windows on the other sides, to set the daylight for the complete group. After that, the only thing you do is press corridor hold and connect it to the corridors. That means that whoever's in this green area always have this pink area I showed before, the corridors, to go out in light. And after the sensor have gone down after 10 minutes, the corridors start to go down and then the complete office go down to darkness. Yes. And here you see on the left, it's your office. Yeah, that's the one, the green area. Yeah. And uh, there we have our pendant luminaire Excite, also integrate with Active Ahead. 
and uh, this luminary you can have it uh, like a wall washer you can have it like a office pendant or as mm -hmm. matrix so imagine you can have this designed with active head for a whole classroom for example just mm -hmm. one luminary and one system built in one yeah and if you look at this is the helsinki office <coughs> the left picture but if you come to the helvar ab you will see it's more lovely because we have it in helvar red yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and also we talk about meeting rooms. Uh, in meeting rooms, you often want to dim your light if yeah. you're presenting something or just want oh, no light. <laughs> no light. <laughs> yeah, but and then you can put out a panel, an, an ocean panel, and in that panel you don't need any battery, you don't need any cord or nothing. It's Bluetooth mesh. When you trigger it, you send up a Bluetooth commando to the luminaires, and you easily configure this with an Android or an iOS phone yes. on generation two of active head. And it automatically creates a group where you put in the luminaries who is in the room. Ooh. And when you have done this group, you of course use the corridor hold function because you already made a group for the panel. So you just press corridor hold, link it to the corridor. And when you leave the conference room, you leave in light. Exactly. Well being the optimal light for office. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, some solution for single rooms, you can say. Yes, this should be the same room, but three different options. So the first one, you have four pieces of 600-600 Lunaria Lumina from Aura Light with active head inside. And you really don't have to do anything because if you trigger one of them, the Bluetooth will always keep the, the three others in the same light because it's so close to it. So it always moves. But you can do a group of it because you want to use the corridor hold function. That's the only reason you need it. Otherwise, you wouldn't need it. The second one, you need this panel that uh, Rasmus talked about. Then you group it from the panel with the phone. You just put the phone next to the panel. It does a little bit of vibration, and then you program it, and you have the group. And then connect it to corridor hole, leave it. Uh, in, in this case, the panels, we got, forgot to say that, they come with stickers, symbols that you can put on it so the user know what they press. For example, full sun full mm. light and stuff like that. Yes. So it's very practical. Absolutely. And the third option is we don't have active head in every luminaire. Yet, but yet. you will have. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but in all, take, for example, a down light. You doesn't, the sensor doesn't fit in that. You mm. can use this node, Dolly node, mm. and you can put six, up to six Dolly 16. 16. 16. So, oh, yeah, in generation two, 16 yeah. Dolly luminaires on one Dolly node and you can have one sensor if you want but in this room you maybe have three or two three or four small down lights put it on this Dolly node and just group it to the uh, nearest luminar and yeah. it's in the system and uh, th this why uh, this way it's a half hybrid because you need uh, some wiring to the four Dolly Dolly one and uh, you put the sensor in a small housing mm. uh, very very small about seven centimeters flat good looking you press the sensor in and you can also connect the panels and also this one will work as one luminaire in the system way of thinking, and you can connect this to the other rooms with luminaires or nodes. So it works together and also the corridor hold function on this one. So three different way of doing the same thing with different options. Yeah. And also if you have a designer luminaire or yeah. something, just put it in so you have everything in one system. It's, it's hard to get the sensor inside a small round one. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah and one the first uh, project that uh, it was built with the active head was the rumble headquarters in finland mm. and uh, how many luminaires does we have approximately 4000 luminaires uh, it's a mix between yeah. and using uh, inside the lumina and uh, the node outside lumina 60 40 split i think approximately yeah and we are going to show a little movie about this project in after, the end, yeah. at the end of this webinar also mm. Active Ahead Garage, that's a really good area to use it. That's a place where it usually either dark or stands burning and cost money. So we do a more energy effective and still comfortable solution for garages. Parking lots or whatever you call it in English, I'm <laughs> Swedish. Uh, this is the garage. Uh, the ramp down is on the left side, the nine yellow luminous. What you can do is you can just put in the luminous and let them work by themselves. You don't need to do anything if you don't want to, but I want a little more comfort in my garage. So I've done zones in different colors, yellow and greens, where the car goes. 
and I have these orange uh, squares where the elevators and the stairs are to leave in the garage. Uh, as soon as one luminar ignites in the system, the orange part immediately lights up, so you find your way to the uh, exits. When you go in with a the car, they go uh, on lot of each other, or what do you call it in English? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that, uh, and triggers the next part, so you always get light when you go with a car. But it still sends out the Bluetooth, so that means that all the luminous that are not grouped or not configured will ignite on the Bluetooth. But if you don't trigger the sensor, that will go down after 30 seconds, so that means energy saving. The one that you trigger will go under 10 minutes period. So if we play with the thought that we park the car in the down corner of the right side and move forward, that means that the sensors above the car will be triggered and the corridor where you have driven the car, it will be triggered. But the rest will trigger when you move. So if you move to one of the orange squares, the luminous that are in front of you triggers from the Bluetooth. So if you trigger them, they will stay on hold. If you don't trigger them, they will go down 30 seconds after you left. So this means that you will have a very efficient garage with light wherever you are, but still on maximum 10 minutes energy use. Yeah. And also a big thing in garage I learned the first time I was in Halvar and talked to your technical guys is yeah. a garage is hard uh, to see if everybody is in the mesh network. So if you start before you group, you go under one luminaire and push the network, then everybody who is in that network will start flashing in two minutes. So you can easily go around and see if it's some failure or is it can we not get into this area or something. So it's a really good thing just to look that everything is working already. You find all the faults. Yeah, exactly. Something not connected, something broken, yeah. the bloom to mesh net doesn't reach it or anything. You find it immediately. Mm. And uh, to do this kind of configuration for a parking lot like we've done it here will take you approximately 15 to 20 minutes. So it's mm. a fast one and it's easy one and I can handle it. That says a lot if you know me. Even me. <laughs> Even you. Yeah. yeah. And this is the one luminaire that we used in a garage. It's our Z44S. It's a IP class 44 luminaire. And here we use the outdoor sense from Halvar with Active Head because this is a peer technology. So it's hard to put it in the luminaire because we need to keep the IP class. class. But you see, this is a high lumen output up to 161 lumen per watt on this luminaire. Good well. one. You have it your own. Yeah, yeah. I have it. And this you can see on the picture you can use everywhere as well. A little teaser. We will uh, launch in January a uh, digital service that would mean Helva Cloud Gateway connected to um, Active Ahead. Uh, we have tried it out, for example, in Rumble's office now, so we know that it works. Uh, this is a, a smart thing because it also used the Bluetooth, so the only thing is that you have to put a gateway in your cabinet and then it collects the Lumina, and then you can get out a network failure, missing things in the network, uh, energy consumption, and uh, also heat mapping and stuff from, from the system. Uh, so this, uh, we will have a webinar in spring. Yeah, in yeah. spring. Yeah. So you can get more updated what you can get out of it. And this gives us even more possibilities. With this uh, gateway, you can uh, connect our systems. That means that you can, uh, at the bottom red picture, you have the active head network. On the top one, you have the wired network. So that means that you have our light uh, active head luminous on the bottom side, and you have standard our light DALI mm -hmm. luminous on the top one with network. And you connect them through this gateway and help a cloud gateway and get information like the picture on the left side with uh, heat mapping, for example, or timing how much you use your conference room or whatever you want. But we will update you on these things in the spring. So, you, so a little bit teaser what coming up. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, that was all from the presentation. We we'll hand over to Pia so we can show the movie. This is Rampal Finland's new head office. Here is working 1100 employees in 18,000 square meters. Rampal Finland's strategy based on the certain uh, cornerstones and two of these are digitalization and sustainability and I think that uh, active head uh, control system links very strongly to these aspects. 
We at Helva, we have installed uh, digital solutions here at Rambol head office in Espoo, Finland. These uh, solutions help us collect occupancy data, among other things, which really helps Rambol understand how their building is used. After the lights are on and people start to use the premises, Active Ahead starts learning and adapts the lightning levels and scenes to the human's behavior. One of the smart building features on the Helvar system is that it enables us to collect occupation data for all spaces. This helps us understand how our building is used and it's in line with our smart building ambition. And one thing which I like of this Active Ahead control that it's based on Bluetooth mesh. So we are not relying on, on any specific system which is developed by one company, but this one is an open system which could be included with several other systems and, and controls which use the same mesh network. We have received good feedback from people who is working here and it's also believed that proper lighting has a direct impact on well-being which is very important to us. All right, thank you for that presentation. Um, so we're gonna now have a short uh, Q&A, uh, well, a few minutes for that. Everything seems to be crystal clear for you guys. Uh, I haven't had a question for you, but we did get uh, a couple of really good questions from the Swedish webinar we had just an hour ago. So I figured we can just as well take them as well, uh, just to clarify things for you as well. So I will basically just put you Rasmus and Thomas um, on screen again, and I'll read out the questions for you. Yeah, yeah. All right, there we go. So the first question was, uh, you were talking about several corridors and large buildings. Uh, how large areas do you need for it to pay off? Yeah, you can say you can have uh, from one room yep. up to thousands of rooms. It's, uh, you start with one room and you get the energy consumption down just in that room, but you don't have any limit in my mind. You can start small and big uh, further on. Yeah, if you're talking about refurbishment, mm -hmm. it will always be the most economic way because you don't have to change the wiring. Mm -hmm. So you can have the existing wiring and just change lumina by lumina and you don't have to do the complete refurbishment immediately. You can do one room each month and they just connect by Bluetooth. So you're just building on. Yeah. So uh, no limit, no, no limit, I would say. And uh, the cost for each luminar is so small extra for get the active ahead function. So it's no big investment either because the payback from it will go quite fast. As you saw in the video, up to 85%. If you say 50%, just to be very kind, mm. it will go very fast to earn this money back in, in electricity cost. Yes. All right. And then how quickly does the system learn how to illuminate? Uh, it's talking about it's not time it's how many time you trigger it because if you mount a system and don't walk in it won't happen anything so it's uh, uh, around two or three times when you're past it and uh, trigger the sensor then it starts to send the bluetooth signal and i would say after a couple of hours the first memory are really good in it for the behavior you have and after 24 hours if you use the facility you have filled the memory bank with different options how to move in it and it will recognize and give you a, a, a suggestion. For example, if you come to a corridor and have this T, T function, uh, left or right, uh, if uh, the majority go right, it will ignite more luminous to the right side than the left side. But if you choose the left, it will ignite up and the right side will dim down because it's only triggered by Bluetooth. Yeah. So it's a smart system and it's learned very fast. And it's learning every time. Every time. Yeah. And now I actually got one uh, question. Uh, how many active ahead nodes or luminaires uh, goes in one group? 
We have not got the limit for that yet. Uh, we, we, we have, for example, uh, Ram, Rumble. They have worked with a lot ungrouped because that would be a good ex testing environment to do it. But they have the majority just playing by itself. Uh, but uh, a couple of hundreds or uh, luminous wouldn't be a problem. That I've already tested in Sweden, but we don't really know how big the groups can be yet. But they can be quite big. Yeah. And it's very fast to group them because the app is fast. So I did 150 luminous on office here in Stockholm, and it took me 50 minutes to group everybody of them. And it's easy to see you, they yeah. are flashing when you put They're flashing it in. immediately. So yes, I took it, take it in a group. So we don't really know the limit of it. Uh, but I th think you shouldn't do too big groups because if you want to do changes, you change always the group if you do it. Mm. So even if you have an office area with 500 luminous, maybe you should put, put one of 25 in each so you can do different things with them for corridor holes or levels of the light around you and stuff. So, but the limits don't know it really yet. And a final question. Can you use both Android uh, and iPhone for this? Yeah, now in generation two, generation one, you only could configure the panel, the Ocean panel with Android, but now with the next generation, yep. it doesn't matter if you have an iPhone or an Android phone. Cool. Well, that, that was all the questions. Uh, and what do you do if you want to know more? Yeah, you can send uh, us emails. My email is rasmus.anderson at auralight.com. And uh, for us, it's uh, halvar.info at, uh, at sweden.com or my Thomas Eliasson with the same afterwards. Yeah, and you will also put our contacts mm. in on the web page, I think. Mm. Yes. Um, yep. Yeah. And that's all for that's today. Fun. Merry Christmas, uh, all Merry of you Christmas. Out there. Thank you for listening. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.